Pop OS is a very special Linux distro. It has its own unique place in the desktop Linux world. When it was first launched, many thought it to be just Ubuntu with a different theme. But Pop OS quickly climbed up the distro ranks and now has a large and loyal user base. The thing about Pop is, it provides a very premium and polished user experience. And now with Pop OS 21.04 bringing the all new cosmic desktop environment, it's better than ever. I recently had to switch to Pop OS quickly as my Nvidia GPU was giving me some issues on Fedora and I knew it would work fine with Pop. After using Pop for a fortnight, I was left impressed with this new cosmic desktop and the overall computing experience I got here. So let's quickly jump in and see what's new, what's changed, the performance, stability, software availability and why you should consider switching to Pop OS. Okay, the biggest change we see in Pop OS 21.04 is the all new Cosmic Desktop environment. And straight off the bat, Cosmic Desktop is near perfection. It's polished, looks stunningly gorgeous and is so user friendly and accessible. Cosmic Desktop is based on GNOME 3.38. It's not based on GNOME 40 yet, but I suppose it will be in the near future releases. The desktop looks familiar and GNOME lineage is apparent everywhere. First off, the dock at the bottom is an edge-to-edge -edge panel by default. Pop OS has always been productivity oriented and has made the desktop more workable. This is another plus point for that. Easy app launching and app switching are facilitated here. Of course, this dock has extensive customizability available in the settings and I probably will be using it in this avatar. The top panel is stock GNOME stuff, with a bit of tweaking done. Workspace switcher has been moved to the left side of the screen which I welcome, as most controls are on the left side of the screen anyway. But if you prefer it on the right side, you can go right ahead and do just that. Super button summons a new launcher. This is a fast way to launch applications as well as switch between running apps. You can see how polished it is. The running apps are highlighted very nicely when you are using this. It has good keyboard shortcuts and is definitely a great tool for more focused working. Again, what the super button does can also be customized. We can use for this launcher, workspaces or for application grid. The whole desktop looks premium and on both laptops and desktops, this looks impressive. What's even more impressive is just how productivity enriching this desktop is. Tiled windows are the way to go for most people who'll be using multiple windows and once you get used to this, you can't go back. This whole thing is built to provide an enhanced desktop experience that is fit for software developers and other professionals. This fast and simple launcher, pop shell along with its styling window manager and a high degree of desktop customization that's made accessible even to Linux newcomers, well, if you want to get some work done, I'll be recommending this. Many people are saying that Cosmic Desktop is just GNOME Desktop with a lot of extensions. Yeah, I'll talk about it in a bit. Let's quickly take a look at the performance of Pop OS 21.04 before that. Pop OS performance has always been on par with top operating systems, if not better. The last release, that is Pop 20.10, had seen significant performance improvements over 20.04. Pharonix had reported a performance gain of around 14% between these two releases, which is quite remarkable. The new 21.04 delivers similar nimble performance. The desktop itself is very responsive. Pop OS has its own set of animations and effects which give it a very fluid touch. App opening and switching is smooth. Pop OS is made to deliver the best possible performance at a very foundational level. You download Pop OS ISO files depending on the hardware you have. So that, no matter if you're rocking an NVIDIA GPU or an AMD one or an Intel integrated, you'll be getting the max performance immediately after installation. Gaming and other demanding tasks like compiling also run very nicely on POP. Overall, performance-wise, POP OS will provide you that nice boosted computing experience. Usability is where POP OS particularly appeals to me. If I recommend POP OS to a Linux newcomer, I'm sure that that person will not be facing any problems with driver installation, installing software, or customizing the desktop. They can just install POP and start using it, and love it. Everything is as simple as it can be made here. Take desktop customization for example. Everything can be changed right here in the settings. To do most of these things in stock GNOME, you'll need to install an additional tool called GNOME Tweaks. But here, everything is there in settings, where they are expected to be. Yes, Cosmic Desktop is a lot of new extensions on GNOME. But they are well integrated into the system and they can be customized easily from settings. 
The advantage of Cosmic Desktop being a collection of extensions on top of GNOME means that they can be turned off individually or all together and you get stock GNOME. And since these are extensions, you can just install them on other distros too. Pop OS is built on the solid Ubuntu base. Ubuntu is very dependable and stable for everybody. It's well tested and adheres to the highest of standards as it is used in servers across the globe. Pop OS therefore is recommended for professionals, businesses, schools and universities, home usage and everywhere else. The version that I'm using in this video is Pop OS 21.04. Now this is a non-LTS release and will be supported for the next 6 months from today that is the date of publishing of this video. And after that, you'll get a simple version update to the next release. So stability voice, Pop OS is just golden. Wherever you want it, you can use it. Pop Shop is the default software store on Pop OS. Opening it up, it's very simple and clean looking. Firstly, we have the editor's picks and then all the software here are arranged into categories. Then there's this quick search box here. Pop OS uses the Ubuntu software repositories and this brings thousands of latest, well-tested packages to its users. The software availability on Pop OS is just excellent because of the Ubuntu lineage. Pop OS also brings in few software through its own repositories. Here we get flat packs instead of snaps. It's interesting that Pop has gone with flat packs instead of Ubuntu's homegrown snaps. It should be appreciated that when you're installing a software, you get to choose how you install it. You can choose .deb or flat pack here. Now that these universal package managers are getting very mainstream, I think all the distros should provide an option like this in their default software stores, Ubuntu especially. You can also install software from PPAs on POP. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or trusted maintainers. Using these, you can install software which are not available in the official repositories and also newer versions of software available in the repositories. Finding and installing software on POP is really easy and convenient and I loved Pop Shop. Top points here. Pop OS provides one of the best setups for gaming on Linux. The installer files are GPU oriented, so right after installation, your system is ready to perform at max thrust. No conditions here. Pop Shop has tons of fantastic games available. Then you can also use Steam and Lutris. With these two, you can play many top Windows exclusive games too. Steam's Proton feature is what I personally use. With Steam Play enabled, many Windows games are installable and playable on Linux like they are Linux native. You just click on install. Talking about the gaming performance, Pop OS will mostly give better frame rate on OpenGL and Vulkan games when compared to Windows. For DirectX games, Windows will perform better but there's no significant loss in FPS on Pop, even when these games are being run through Proton. So for gaming enthusiasts as well as casual gamers, Pop OS will be a great choice that leave no room for complaints. Pop OS has a vast and growing community. Since Pop is a popular distro, it's easy to find troubleshooting and self-help guides for it. For most things, Ubuntu guides should work on Pop and there's definitely no shortage of those. Now Pop specific guides and articles are also growing significantly online. Pop OS has a beginner friendly community and that's great for newcomers. Pop Planet is a great resource if you're new to Pop OS. Do check it out. Getting started with Pop is really simple. Go over to the site and download the ISO file. Now you have two options here. If you have an Nvidia GPU, choose this one. If not, choose the other one. Flash the ISO onto a USB stick and live boot into it. The installation process is very simple and all the steps are very beginner friendly. Pop will be installed in around 15-20 minutes. With Pop, GPU drivers will be already installed so you don't need to mess around with them. All in all, Pop OS is very easy to get started with, even for Linux beginners. When we look at Pop OS comprehensively as a computing environment, it makes a lot of sense. It's dependable, looks impressively stunning, has the best-in-class software availability and it provides a very premium user experience. That right there is a big yes for most people. Pop OS doesn't aim to be the most innovative thing there is or the most cutting edge Linux distro. No, it's meant to be a high quality operating system for professionals and homes and it achieves this with flying colors. Definitely check out Pop OS, the link is in the description below. You might want to check out the 20.04 LTS version too. That's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to the channel.
I thank Mary Lowry and Marcus Edwardson for supporting my work through Patreon. Next up, check out Garuda Linux, which has emerged as the leading next-gen Linux distro with some really fantastic features. This is Linux Techs. See you in the next one.